do you sustain yourself, Eugene? You're out there, doing your best, knowing it might not make a difference, but doing it anyway. You and I both know what it's like to be underground, searching and hoping, looking for the path forward. How do you sustain yourself? How do you buffer yourself and keep going? I don't know the answer. I do have an idea on how to sustain notes, though. Sometimes I wish I could keep one note going on a VCO while I also move on to another, sort of making a bed or pad for the future notes to lie in. Let's try it. I've got the spectrophone in SAO mode here, oscillating away. It's being sequenced by an unclocked Rene. Go to the latch page so we can change notes by either turning the knob for the ter current location or by jumping to other locations on the grid. Let's molt the spectrophone's outputs into two different places. The morphogene. and the mimeophone. So, morphogene first. Let's put on our headphones. Ah. What we're gonna do is start with an empty reel and record a medium length splice. Now we can hear that as we change the pitch on the spectrophone, We can hear a recording of the old pitch still vibrating away. I've turned on gene smoothing in the options file and I've set morph and gene size a bit up so we can have a nice overlapping set of a couple copies of the gene. Now, let's bring in the mimeophone as well. We'll mix the morphogene and mimeophone together in the DXG. and we'll monitor the sums. With Mimeophone, it's a little simpler. We can just press hold whenever we want to keep a note going. Color and halo parameters give us some control over the shape and furriness of the sustained note. I like to modulate the phone's micro rate as well in this type of situation. May as well put Brucia in the mix as well. We can also record multiple splices into the morphogene if we'd like several different held notes to choose from. If we turn down partials, we can remove the live spectrophone from the mix and here just the portions that we've buffered and sustained.